And now, Lifestyles Unlimited presents the Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Over the next hour, we unfold your map to financial freedom. You'll learn how to retire through investing in single family and multifamily real estate. You'll learn how to create cash flow and build wealth so you can have the time and money to live the lifestyle you want. Welcome to the show. My name is Al Gordon, and as always, we're working on your financial freedom. That's right. On today's show, I've asked Daryl to come on the program with me because I want you to get inside of his mind. I want you to understand why Daryl has done some of the things that he has done in his life. Now, I will tell you this. He's a medical professional. This guy is in the medical field. So for all of you people out there in the medical field struggling with the, the crazy hours and the 12-hour shifts and the, and the double shifts, and all that stuff that goes on in the medical field. And, and while you're trying to figure out if you can retire, Daryl had the same problem. Now, here's the thing. Daryl solved the problem. He solved the problem. Now, I will tell you, he, he went through some pain. He did go through some pain. I mean, he, he spent some time with a financial planner. Now, I'm not saying talking to a financial planner is a bad thing, but just understand you're talking to somebody about how to get retired who hasn't retired themselves. So there, there should be like a red flag that pops up when you do that sort of thing. Daryl told me that when he sat down in 2013 with his financial planner, his financial planner did whatever they do with their, you know, their graphs and their, and their keyboards and stuff like that. Basically, the final financial planner turned around and looked Daryl square in the eye and said, I got a plan for you. And Daryl said, what was that? And he said, I can get you retired by the age of 89 and Daryl went what yeah yeah can, can you imagine what Daryl was going through when his financial planner said yeah retirement for you could be the age of 89 so what did Daryl do man he he turned to Dave Ramsey now I am not a Dave Ramsey hater I know sometimes it sounds like I am but I'm not I I actually will give a lot of kudos to Dave Ramsey because he helped me out a little bit in my earlier years. He helped me do some things that, well, I would not have figured out on my own. But here was the problem. Dave Ramsey could only take me to a certain place. And I think Daryl had that same experience. So with no further ado, let me do this. Let me bring Daryl onto the show. Let me make sure that I got his story correct. And let's have some fun with Daryl. So Daryl, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? I'm fantastic, Al. Thanks for having me on. And as always, thanks to Lifestyle because um, Lifestyles Unlimited has changed me totally in seven years. Oh, that is awesome. So did I, did I get your backstory right or do we need to correct something in there? That's pretty much right. Um, 89 was the calculation that the computer spit out. And um, and then I went to uh, went to starting Dave Ramsey. The difference between Dave Ramsey, you know, I've, I've thought about this a lot, Al. Um, the biggest difference between Dell and Dave is that Dave Ramsey got hammered in real estate early, and he doesn't want people to go through that pain. So he teaches out of fear, which is a definite motivator for all of us, right? Where Dell won from the beginning, so he teaches out of excitement and, yes, you can win. And that fit more with my personality. I, I don't know about everyone else out there, but that fit more with I just don't want to – Dave's trying to keep you from pain, and Dell's trying to get you to a lifestyle – where you can enjoy this life, and, and that's where we've been able to come to. Yeah, I'm, I'm spot on with you, because Dave gets you to a point of mediocrity. Dell gets you to a point of flourishing. Would that be a fair statement? That's absolutely the, the difference, right? They just, you just, I mean, someone told, said that Dave will have you at the same point as a guy under the bridge with no debt, and he's got no responsibility and all that, but that's not, you're not enjoying life the way it's meant to be enjoyed. And so Dave uh, gets you there. Dell gets you to where you are, have assets, you have income coming in, you're sitting up in your office, you're proud, you, you're, you're providing people with a great place to live. Um, so you're proud of that too. Um, and so um, yet yeah, you, you, you go out at a different method and there's different methods to succeed in life. Uh, Dell's just sit, sit more with me at my time. And um, uh, I followed this formula and it's worked out fantastic for us. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Now, you're, you are a medical professional. If, I, if I've got it correct, you're a registered nurse and you work in the ICU. That's, that's pretty intensive work, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm an ICU nurse. been doing nursing for 18 years. actually work in a liver and kidney transplant unit. Um, so it's very intense. Uh, people, people of all walks from recovering to not going to recover. And so uh, COVID hasn't enhanced that in any way. That made it even more intense with uh, more things. But um, 
it's a very, I, I love it because you are able to provide a service for people when they're really at sometimes their lowest or their families at the lowest. And so I'm able to, I really boil it down to, I'm I, I able to give somebody a great 12 hours. I, I don't think I'll ever stop nursing. I, I just, I just love the opportunity to make someone have a good 12 hours, which at times in their lives may be one of the lowest points in their lives. And so, um, the intensity is there. I, 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 I thrive in that, that environment, though. I, I would tell you this. When it, when it comes to all the medical professionals that are out there, nurses are number one on my list, and here's why. As a guy that, that suffers from a lot of medical problems, I've spent a lot of time in the hospital, and I always find I, I get time with the doctor. I get, what, 10, 15 minutes with the doctor, and the doctor, poof, they're gone. But who's there taking care of me? It's that registered nurse. It's that person like you that that gives me that that hope and that that human compassion. And and I got to tell you, Daryl, on behalf of you and your industry, I want to give a big shout out to all of you in nursing across the United States as well as the world because I hold you guys in the highest regard. Well, I'm gonna say thank you for all of us. Now, you and I became members of Lifestyles Unlimited pretty much at the same time. We've been members for six years, and, and a lot's changed in my life, and I'm, I'm confident a lot's changed in your life. If, if I recall correctly, you, you've retired your wife by doing the things that we teach. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, so for she was actually a teacher before I was a nurse, so probably for 20 years now I would hear at 5 o'clock in the morning from middle of August till – the end of May, her alarm clock going off at five o'clock in the morning, five thirty in the morning for her to get up and, and go to work. Not that she didn't love teaching, but I just it wasn't her natural alarm clock. So I, I feel like I was you know, I wasn't failing her, but I didn't put her in a position to make her own choices. And through lifestyles, that alarm clock does not even go off anymore. It, it, she sleeps in until nine. I love her just resting and sleeping in and um been able to retire her um, from teaching and have a son. Uh, he's a senior now, last semester at UT, University of Texas, um, in petroleum engineering, and he will come out absolutely debt-free, and that's all because of real estate. Yeah, all because of real estate in the last six years. So when you say massive changes, that's just two of them I can easily identify. I, I would tell my son all the time, if real estate does nothing else and it gets you through college debt-free, which is a promise we made for him, long ago it's done its job it's done its job so those are two major and and not even counting we have some trucks and uh, just so many other things but those two major things always stick out to me that make me walk through the house very proud when i see her sleeping in and i see that my son can get out of college without any burden he can he wants to go to work he wants to take a year off whatever he wants to do he actually makes money from some of the real estate deals he invested with us he doesn't have to be forced to pay these huge financial debts that these, unfortunately, unfortunately, these kids going through college to, to, to get that higher education are having to, to deal with once they get out. Now, does he know about real estate investment? I mean, if you've been pulling him along your side as you've been buying and operating properties? He could run this company 100% without me. He is so locked in. He understands why we buy. He understands what we buy. He understands. He does a lot of the like when we need to put something on the line for, for, for rent or leasing or the docu signs for the lease, he could do the whole thing at twenty at twenty one years old. He could um, he could run the operation without me. And he would run the operation if something unfortunate happened to him. He's been positioned for this for two or three years. So yes, I've mentored him. He would be able to actually have his own real estate investment company. Basically the same thing that Dale taught taught us. He he knows that whole formula. For the last six years, he's been indoctrinated in it, but he, he understands it. He knows it. He loves it. He's invested in every every deal that we're possibly invested in that he can get in. He's invested in. He's actually um, set aside money. In addition to being debt-free in college, he has money set aside. So it's been good. So what's his game plan? Is is he going to get into the workforce doing that petroleum engineering stuff for as long as he needs to to get himself up and running? And then is, is he going to bolt or is he going to stay? What's What's he thinking? Um, I think he's, he, he, he may do some studies with um, the church, so he may spend some time doing some missionary stuff. Um, he's gonna, I think he's going to take six months off because he's graduating six months er, early. Um, he actually doesn't – supposed to graduate in May, but he's, he's done his courses um, on an accelerated basis, so he's graduating in December. I think he plans on just actually taking six months off and seeing which course he needs. Um, so 
He hasn't. If you ask him, he'll say, "Time will tell," or something like that. He's not under any pressure, which is a, a, again the the freedom is what we work for for the money. So the, the not the other way around, not the money for the freedom, the freedom, the freedom, the money provides us with the freedom. So um, he has the freedom to make that choice. So he'll he'll sit around for six months or research things for six months. He's leaning more towards I think taking a job in petroleum engineering. Though he seems to really love it. So we'll see. Okay. And, and, and the reason I ask is because I've, I've got a young man, too, that just graduated from college. He was deployed with the Army. He's come home, and we're trying to get him, get his mind straight, uh, kind of like your son's mind, and get him refocused. And we want to get him buying some properties. So during that six-month period, is your son going to be actively looking to potentially buy a property? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We're, we, every time we meet, we talk about it. We look at properties. Um, he's in Austin now, so which is an absolutely red-hot market, you know, um, the UT, he lives in an apartment. I think they pay uh, whoever owns the or the house that he was written in before that. Whoever owns the house was getting like four thousand dollars a month from four college students. Um, wow. So yeah. So if you can buy anything near the University of Texas, you know it's, that campus is just going to keep growing. Austin is going to keep doing good. So absolutely, we we constantly are discussing and um, talking about real estate. He'll continue to do that. Whatever his choices are, he'll continue to invest with us in small and large ways. He just trusts. He's seen the, he's seen the asset class grow for us. You know, in the six years, he's watched it go from one house to fifteen. Um, so um, he knows it's a, it's a successful formula, and you can't fool you know a family with the numbers. So he knows the numbers are real, and he sits down. He can calculate uh, cash on cash return. He can cash, calculate you know the taxes, insurance. Uh, maintenance, repairs, vacancy. He knows how to do the formula that we that Dell taught us. So, yep, he's fully on board with that. So he will continue to invest in real estate with us. Yeah, you know what I'm sensing, Daryl, is I'm sensing a young man who's going to retire in his 20s, and that just gives me goosebumps all over. I'll tell you what, when we come back from the break, we're going to talk about Daryl's investments. Stick around. Got questions? Call Lifestyles Unlimited at 855-497-4335. The Real Estate Investor Radio Show continues next. Need more unconventional wisdom that'll set you free? Subscribe to Lifestyles Unlimited on YouTube and Ben's content that will actually help you get where you want to go in life from people who are already there. With over 50,000 members and 32 years of proven success, there's so much more we want to share with you than what we have time for on the radio. On YouTube, we go beyond our shows and feature our best content from podcasts, interviews, expo, master's tour, fireside chats, special events, and more. Creating the lifestyle you've always wanted. You're hearing Lifestyles Unlimited's Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Welcome back to the second half of the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. My name is Al Gordon. I'm joined by Daryl, and together we are working on your financial freedom. So, Daryl, let's get into the background. Now, I know you're very similar to me, not, not because we joined Lifestyles Unlimited at about the same time and we're about the same age, and we're probably very, very handsome men. I, I get that part. But I know that you owned real estate like I did, prior to Lifestyles Unlimited. And I will tell you, before I even ask you the question, I will tell you that, that my experience was I was a mediocre at best operator of real estate because nobody had bothered to really teach me how to do it. I was just taking advice from other people that also didn't know how to do it. What was your experience, Daryl? It was an absolute disaster. So from 2006 to 2017, all oh, maybe during those 11 years, I had one good tenant, maybe for maybe two or three years. The rest was just disaster after disaster after person. I mean, all the reasons why people don't go into real estate, they tear up your house, they leave, stuff. they don't pay their rent, they leave stuff all in the apartment or the house and they leave. Um, they don't answer the phone. Uh, the neighbors are complaining. They don't cut the yard. I mean, in 11 years, like I said, if I had three years worth of good tendency, that would, have, I can only remember one. Um, it was just a terrible thing. So, and that was just not knowing that that wasn't, I, I'm the same person now, but I just have to have education and just have a system in place um, that works. It wasn't at the house. The house is no different. The house is the same house, the same neighborhood, same uh, clientele that I could get for tenants, but I had no idea what I was doing. 
And so mediocre would have been a major step up for, for me. Um, and, 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 and I understand when people say, I don't want to get into it. What if they, you know, the toilet gets stopped up or whatever the case may be, or the tenants don't pay and how do you get them out of your house? And there are rules for, for every single thing um, that will help you through it. If you know the rules, if you don't, you just like, like me and you were early on just twisting in the wind and frustrated and like, man, I wish that house would just go away or the tenants would just go away. I'll never do another real estate deal. And then you go to two day of lifestyles and your life will change. So how many, how many single family properties did you own prior to being a member of lifestyles unlimited? One, the, the, the one house in, in Laplace, Louisiana, uh, a two, it was at that time, it was a two bedroom, two bath house that me and my wife stayed in before we moved to Texas. Do you, do you still have that house? Absolutely. That house is a winner now. Oh, it's a winner now because Lifestyles <laughs> Unlimited taught you how to operate it correctly. Absolutely. So now it rents for $1,400 a month. At the time, I was lucky to get $500 a month, but it rents for $1,400 a month. It's fixed up. It's absolutely gorgeous. We've put new flooring in. We we painted. We added. A, we converted the garage to a room so it's more house-friendly, you know, three-bedroom. Two bath house is the lifestyle's gold standard, right? So that's what we converted it to. We screen our tenants better. Um, we incorporate them in in terms of taking care of the house, and in terms of hey, it's like a joint venture. We want you to stay here forever. However, we can do it to to make sure it's comfortable for you. Um, working class working class uh, a house in a in a middle class neighborhood, and it's turned out fantastic. So yes, we still own that one. That's our that's our foundation one. How many properties do you own currently? So properties, let's see, uh, two fourplexes, a duplex, and five single houses for 15. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, 15, 15 doors, yes. 15 doors. That's that's pretty – and you were able to retire your wife and help pay for your son to go to college off of those 15 doors. That's correct. In addition to um, – because of equity capture and inflation to – go from a net worth of somewhere around 200000 to well over a million dollars in just real estate. You mean I'm talking to a millionaire right now? Well, hey, hey. it's <laughs> I'm the name caller. Yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize for calling you a name on the air, Daryl. But yeah, you are well, a millionaire. <laughs> done well. We've, we've done very, we're very blessed, very blessed, very blessed now. So what's what's the game plan for you? I know, I know you're still working in nursing. Have you been able to cut back your hours? Are you still working full time? What's what's the game plan? So yes, I cut back my hours. Uh, I only work two days a week, which allows us to enjoy it even more when I go in because I really want to be there because I miss it. Um, and my wife's retired, and we have also opened up a trucking company. So uh, my older son drives trucks, so he's the the truck driver on um, on that, and we have a second truck, and so we plan on expanding that business, and we plan on again starting to um, make purchases in real estate. We're actually under contract with another house right now, so we're going to start uh, continuing to buy. I got another name I want to call you, entrepreneur. I I feel like it. I feel yeah, like you're definitely everything you just said was was the mouth of an entrepreneur speaking wisdom. Okay, I don't even remember what I say. What did I say? <laughs> That's right. You'll be able to go to lifestylesunlimited.com and check out the podcast. You'll be able to hear it all. It'll all be good. There we go. There we go. There you go. So so you've got 15 doors right now. You, you've got one under contract. Is is there a plan to get you retired, or do you even care? Because, I mean, you've been able to get your nursing career down to a, a manageable and playful event. So, I mean, is there any reason to step away from the nursing? No, you know, I think when when God gives you the gift of being able to care for people, you, you can't really, like, you know you're helping out. So I have no plans. I don't golf. I don't fish. So I love to do business, and I love to nurse. And so I have no plans on stopping. I even talked to a doctor, one of our surgeons, who has the gift of being able to help people so drastically because of what he does. So it's, it's, it's not one of those things where you, you just stop. You just keep on doing If you can help people. Kind of like what you guys are doing, where I don't know if you know the great benefit from these radio shows and from everything that Lifestyles does. I think you guys know how many lives you've changed, like in a significant way. I feel like we do that in medical too when we when we have our good outcomes. And so um, I have no plans on stopping. Um, I, I I love it too much, so I'll work until I just I'll work with that until I just 
physically can't do it anymore, I guess would be the thing. But I, I enjoy it too much to stop. I actually also take care of a private duty. I take care of a high net worth person. So that's kind of fun to travel all over the world. Wow, you you got a lot of a lot of irons in the fire. This is pretty cool, man. You're you're an interesting dude. Life is good. Life is good. I'm very blessed, Al. I really am. So I, I've got a personal question I want to ask, and if you don't want to answer it, it's, it's fine. But um, if if you were to fully retire yourself and step away from nursing, is there is there a number of units that you would still need to buy in order to accomplish that, or have you achieved that already? Well, yeah, with where we're at um, and with the other business ventures we have, I'm probably pretty close. I guess the number that comes to mind when you say that would probably be 25, um, generating between three and $500 a month. Um, right now we make somewhere uh, clear around 4200 a month. Um, with very, very, and that's, that's taking care of all of our mortgages, everything, right? So um, I guess if, if I had to answer the number somewhere between 25, 25 to 30 would be the, the number where I could totally, not really dependent on the income of, of the nursing though, because it's just not that much right now because of the part-time. So um, I would say I'm very close. If I wanted to truly retire, I would probably just be tightened down a few things. Um, I just, I haven't worked out those exact numbers. Would you be willing to work them out on the air with me? Let's do it. All right. So so currently you own 15 doors worth of single family assets. It retired your wife. So your wife doesn't have to go to work anymore. The, the second primary effect that benefited you and your family was that it helped pay for a college degree for one of your sons. And he's going to leave college completely debt free because of what real estate was able to do for you and your family. You have been able to go from a crazy work schedule to two days a week, and that's based on the fact that real estate is contributing something to your income stream that you don't need to go out and trade time for money for. Is that is that a true statement? Before Lifestyles, I was working five days a week as a nurse. So, yes, and now I'm down to two, and that's by choice. And, and those days are normally like 12-hour days, are they not? That's correct, yes, two, two 12-hour shifts. That's what, that's what I work a week. Okay, so you went from 60 to 24 hours. That's a pretty significant down downshift. If you didn't go to work, could you still support your household? It would be a little bit tighter, but yes, I could. Well, dang it, dude, you're real estate retired. Did you not know that? Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, no. I'm yeah, doing guess the happy right. dance, man. I just figured out you're real estate retired. I'm like super excited over here, man. You should be doing the happy dance with me. Yes, the, the freedom I definitely feel. I've never seen the Eiffel Tower, so I, me and my wife want to travel. I've never seen the pyramids of Egypt. I've never been to Israel. Um, I've never seen the Great Wall of China. These are some of the other things that I'd like to do over the next few years. Um, and so, uh, yeah, that's where we're getting closer to being able to those dreams, too. Okay, so how much how much money do you think you need every year to accomplish just those two goals? That would probably be, if I had to say right offhand, $20,000 a year. I'm going to break out Mr. Calculator here. And by the way, I'm still using my 1988 solar-powered calculator. So for, for $20,000 a year in additional income, if you had properties that were paying you, on average, say $400 per month, you would need about a little over four properties to get that done. And that's very doable to, to find properties, fix them up, and rent them, uh, very nice properties, and, and generate a $400 a month income. Yes. So what's the game plan? How soon can you get to uh, five more properties? Because my, uh, my calculator said four point something, so really you can't have a point house. So with my knowledge, it, that's, that's one year of data just refocus and starting to look every day for properties. So with my knowledge and my team that I've been able to put together, thanks to Lifestyles um, and my contacts in the business, that's simply just cranking, cranking back up, and it's a one year's worth of work. How much debt equity are you sitting on right now? Do you know? Uh, did equity? Yeah. So you, in other words, you've got, you've got so much equity in your house because you, you captured equity and stuff. You're, you're kind of out of balance. Maybe your house is worth 250, but you only have 120,000 on the mortgage. So you have a bunch of equity sitting there. So we call that debt equity. Yeah. You're talking about in all my real estate, probably about $400,000 or more. Wow. Would you tap into that money to buy more real estate? 
Yes, in fact, I'm I'm working on. We have one paid off property, which is a very big no no in lifestyles, right? So we are actually have the loan packet to go and start to try to take that equity out of that one. Um, the other ones, um, this is a good conversation now because I just haven't looked at cash flows. Yes, I just haven't looked at refinance, especially with the higher interest rates right now. So um, I would have to run the numbers on it to make sure that my loans. Um, didn't increase so much where they were upside down where I'm still cash flowing. I guess is that is that the proper proper. Yeah, that's look at? that's spot on, man. Rule number one: must cash flow. You're you're spot on with that. So those are the things that I have to look at to be able to take that four hundred thousand dollars worth of equity out. One thing I love about Dell's radio show when he does it, and you do it sometimes too, is you any situation that the market or the economic environment throws at us. Real estate benefits if you take the right angle at it. Uh, interest rates go up, less people can buy houses, more people are renting. You know, you guys always are looking at what the other side is because there's real estate's always going to be one of those things that's always needed. People need places to stay, even through COVID, even through economic upturns, downturns, whatever the case may be. And so, lifestyles position me to ride those waves and be in a position where we're still cash flowing plenty, even through whatever craziness that society throws at us. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm playing with Mr. Calculator. I'm listening to you too, by the way. But I'm playing with Mr. Calculator, and I'm going, wow. If we had four hundred thousand dollars, and if we could buy houses for twenty five thousand apiece, that would be sixteen houses. That'd be that'd be a couple more than what you said your goal was. So I think you're on track, brother. I feel like it. I feel like it. But I need to. Um, thanks for this conversation. I need to reanalyze because I'm uh, one of the things I do is I constantly look for better ways to, to, to utilize and take advantage of my finances. Um, one sign I have in my office, as you know, the high net worth people have a family office um, yes. where they have a team of people who work on their assets. As I said, I take care of a high net worth person. He has a family office and they manage the assets for anyone who doesn't know. I didn't know before lifestyle, but I have a sign in my office that says Porter family office, but I am the whole team basically. So <laughs> You're the team. You're the I and team, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, and it's very important, right? Cause most of us have to make our own decisions as to where we put our assets, where we're going to invest, where we're going to save, where we're going to, where we're, what we're going to do as far as paying down our debt, so on and so forth. I make those decisions. So I constantly have that sign to remind myself that I'm the, I'm the, uh, I'm the manager of the Porter family asset, uh, Porter family office. And this little nudge that you've just given me gives me another angle to reanalyze and see, you know, what the best way in uh, real estate's been so successful for us. We should um, look at our, our equity that we have in there, see what the calculation would be um, going forward. If we take the equity out of those, what the new interest rates would be, what the new payments would be, and make sure that those profits are still profitable, but we can take those that equity and not let it sit dead, which is a, a no, no and make, put that money to use. So thank you very much for that. You are welcome, Daryl. And thank you very much for being on today's show. I, I appreciate you very much. Hey, if you want to do what Daryl's doing, you want to do what I'm doing, go to lifestylesunlimited.com, sign up for a free workshop and let's get you going. The information and opinions you hear on the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show are those of the hosts, guests, and callers. The Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult a professional regarding your personal investment needs. Nothing presented constitutes an endorsement, recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or security.